Hello, we are live in the room. Woo! Look at that comments like ah. Comments where the red's like below the red. That's it, below the red. On the right. Show? Can I just get rid of the banner first? Okay. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, Is that okay? okay. <laughs> so welcome to our domestic bliss. <laughs> and I'm now going to click on comments, which is somewhere in brand, isn't it? It's up. Go up. Oh there. yeah, I can see comments. Thank you. Just give me a moment. <laughs> I have a plan, you know. You plan yeah, life. yeah. I'm just a control freak. Now we're going to talk about things like that tonight. <laughs> so honestly, honestly, hoisted by my own what's it. So here we go. Hello everyone, who gets the prize? We've got Ant Bray was in the room first, woo! And be a red rosette, wouldn't it, Ant? And <laughs> who else we got? Andy Falconbridge, hi everyone. Hi Rowan Nigel, and you know what we've forgotten to do. Forgotten we to haven't do. loaded Andy's lovely photograph that I sent you. Oh, no. We were gonna show that tonight. Andy, we'll have to show it next week, show my darling. Week. Sorry, sorry, many, many apologies. It was a wonderful photograph. Hold that thought, people, because it's worth it. And uh, honestly, where does the time go? We know we're doing this, and we absolutely <laughs> love it. Hi, Rowan Nigel, getting the TV warmed up. What, for Call the Midwife? <laughs> um, yeah, it, the old solid state doesn't need as much warming up as it used to, no, at Ken, true. I think is what you'll find. And Fred <laughs> says, hi, everyone. Looking forward to another lovely hour with Rowan Nigel. Oh, Fred, darling. Absolutely lovely to see you. Second time today, you should take tablets. And here's Roz. Hello, Roz, darling. I keep seeing you as well, bless your heart. You know, you're just so amazing. And we got Jan in the room, and Julie Murdoch, and Annie Cave, and Mary, our lovely sister-in-law, and she is Andrew, Sarah, Mary, and Graham, who are all just getting back from vote counting. It's been a heavy, heavy weekend for you guys. I know you've been really busy. And Bob has just tuned in. Well, that's great, because we're just tuning in as well. So that's just brilliant. Bob, hope you had a good time this morning at church. And Jill says hi to everyone from Wells. And Shah says she's listening from her car on the way to Gloucester. That's amazing. Oh, Clever girl. Well space, done, you. Morning. Please don't do uh, text messages while you're driving. And um, But you can, <laughs> if somebody else is driving, then that's good. And Christine says hi from Street. Hi to you, my darling. That is absolutely wonderful. So you're all geographically far flung. That is just amazing. And that's the sort of church that we have here, isn't it? It is really special and really um, wonderful. We just love it. So here we are, yet yeah, Village Voices Songs of Praise. So tonight we're going to be talking about letting go and letting God, which is a little phrase that my mum loves to use. It's a bigger subject than I thought, so yet again, I'm going to give you a little taste of it tonight and then not bore the pants off you and do it for a few more weeks um, that way. Oh, hi Pat Thompson. Hello, darling. My puppy is huge. Um, this lady saw him this morning, my friend Andy, and she said, goodness me, she said, where's your puppy gone? <laughs> and I said, yeah, he has gone. He is now a miniature dog. Vronny is in Totnes. That's amazing. That's nice. Granny like Vronny. Yeah. Oh, we do like Totnes. Yeah, we got lovely friends down from near there. That's amazing. Wow, so you guys really are all over the place, but in a really good way. So what better do, thing to do than to start by singing a wonderful hymn of praise? Susie Scott, our lovely friend who manages to choose songs, but she struggles to then come online and find this actual event. So bless her heart, she listens later on. But Susie, thank you for your choice. And we are choosing your choice as the first hymn tonight. Praise my soul, the King of heaven. So well done. Yep, yeah, Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse on the new t-shirt and they need Jesus just the same. So that's fine. Right. Praise my soul, the Praise him, 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 praise him
go on to aeroplane mode. I thought it was, but I'm still getting messages. Father, like he tends and spares us. Well, our feeble frame he knows. In his hands he gently bears us, rescues. understand how I got a message when I'm oh, on aeroplane no but I did and I'm sorry that just put me off that little bit but <laughs> Nigel you played a blinder there that was much. amazing hope that sounded as good to you all as it did here <laughs> in the room yeah, that sounded fun. absolutely brilliant and at least if Sean is driving there's one she would know the words to to start with so that's <laughs> just lovely and people are saying hi to everyone. Hi, Carol Applegate Day. That's lovely. Oh, Natalie. Hi from Mark. And <laughs> Karen Squire says hi from round the corner. Precious lady, we know you've had a tough time, but it is lovely to have you with us. And I pray that you are feeling loads, loads better. Uh, people are chatting away there, which is all absolutely yeah. lovely. That is how it is and who we are now. Um, there are two little girls who um, we talk about fairly regularly. They're normally going to bed at this time. Um, it's much more difficult, actually, to get little ones to go to bed when the evenings are light right, like this. Yeah. yeah. And it is very nearly their birthday. They are a week away from being eight years old. So the excitement levels will be starting to build. Plus, they're going to their favourite place tomorrow, which is school. They absolutely adore school. So this is really to not help them go to bed at all, Fiona. This is to help them jump about like mad things and really annoy you. So... <laughs> <laughs> Harriet and Jessica, this is for you and anybody else that gets involved with Messy Church and anybody else who generally just wants to be a little bit silly. Oh, I did work out today as I was doing it. I could go, yeah, 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 better than Dougal Dog. <laughs> ah, oh, but anyway, no. Awesome. Yeah, well, he is better than Dougal Dog because he was Jesus. And, oh. Yeah, right answer. Uh, Squirrels, Rosie Roo, you tuned in just at the right time. Go get Sarah, honey. Here we go. Go Nigel. Right, this can only go <laughs> one of two ways. It's going to be fine. <laughs> what? Yeah! One, two, three, four. He's the one who makes the sun shine.
It's lovely to see you there. Oh, That's just good. amazing. She says to um, uh, who can I? I don't know, remember people's names. Oh my goodness me, my brains are gone. Uh, okay, <laughs> Ronnie, are you on holiday in Totnes? And I think she's being a granny down in Totnes. I think that's a little journey that she does. But actually, hey, have fun, no matter. So um, there we go. That was fun, wasn't it? You've got to admit. So who was dancing? Yay, loved it. We've been dancing, doing the actions. Oh, I need somebody to do the actions with. It is pretty boring on your own, not doing the actions. It's scary. Mm. Jesus superhero. Hang on to that. Pat says she loves that one. And I've got a friend called Charlotte with all those years. You would have hated that. But hey, that's okay. It's all good. <laughs> Brilliant. So what have we got now? We're going to sing a song that we sang this morning with the Polden Wheel. And this one is called Our God Reigns. And it's a great song for remembering why we sing Our God Reigns. It announces um, we've got good news to share. Um, our God gave us peace and gave us happiness. Uh, it talks about um, the things that God has done historically, restoring Zion, um, reaching the waste places of Jerusalem, and then he's going to bear his holy arm over the ends of the earth. It's going to happen, people. So um, let's enjoy this one together. So.
Really, we are. Brilliant. So, do you notice, Catherine Livesley, if you're watching and you want to play along with me, our next song has, is one that you've got the music for. So, go grab your music, go grab your guitar while I whiffle on. So, uh, um, I hope you really enjoyed that. If it's a new one to everybody, then don't worry, you know. Just enjoy it. Peggy Ball, bless your heart. Sorry we are late. We managed to start watching last week's end again. You probably <laughs> thought I was wearing the same shirt, didn't you? But I've bought a new one. It's got Mickey and Minnie Mouse on it. And I'm so happy. And um, lovely. So don't worry at all, my lovely. Um, you know, we're never going to know and it's never going to matter. But it is lovely to have you with us. And you can do comments as well. So you're pretty clever. So my lovely nephew, Andrew, this is for you, my darling. So this is Good Good Father, and um, we just love this song, don't we, uh, uh, Andrew? We can sort of wrap it around us. If you think of the best daddy in the world, so my daddy died when I was 30, so I don't have him anymore, and I know lots of you may or may not have your mummies and daddies with you anymore, and it'll always be your mummies and daddies, but maybe you're somebody else's mummy and daddy now, yes, so or granny and gramps or, or whatever. But So we just take a moment to think about the people who have been there for us in our lives and um, just want to think particularly of uh, Anne Thomas and her loss today um, because um, lovely Grandma Doreen has gone. And to be with Jesus, straight there, I mean, a shining lady for Jesus, uh, but still a very tough place to fill and just wrapping around us if you are the goodest goodest father which is not good English it, and it's who you are and I'm loved by you it's who I am if we take nothing else away then um, just to know that we are loved by someone who is the best who can possibly be so um, I hope you really enjoy this one I'm sure you will thank you Andrew for choosing it it's one of our favorites It's who you are It's who you are It's who you are 
finished on the A. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. A little dis... Yeah, honestly, we're really nearly getting this. <laughs> <laughs> but Andrew, I hope you really enjoyed that version of your favourite song. That is amazing. Thank you so much for choosing that. So here we are on Songs of Praise number 57, people. It's not surprising Peggy thought she tuned into the wrong one. There's a few of these now <laughs> sitting there, there, so you somewhere. can always go back. They're always going to be there for you. And um, I'll just be wearing different shirts every week, so... <laughs> or oh, most weeks. I won't. Why? Oh yeah, Nigel and his fleecy. You're a bit attached to that one, aren't oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> so, Andrew, thank you so much for choosing that one. Now, last week we sang, if you remember, um, the most wonderful song, I Need You Every Hour. I Need Thee Every Hour, I think it was. And the lovely old hymn, and we talked about the lady that wrote it, and what a difference it made um, that she wrote that. And that was one of the few ways that she could actually... Uh, make a difference in her world because ladies at that time were not a thing they weren't allowed to do stuff so somebody else says sorry they're late Jenny Whitfield it's fine welcome and then we were challenged by Dave uh, Dave Burton and also by Andy Falkenbridge um, to go and learn the new version that somebody's put out so it's a chap called Matt Mayer and this is our version of it so um, we've had lots of uh, people offer us new songs to do. Um, Ruthie came up with one this week, which is a wonderful song called Oceans. But some of these songs will sound very thin with just Nigel and I. Or they'll sound very different. They'll be acoustic versions, if you like. So what with that and the challenges that the range of this song asks for, and me and my super tenor voice, um, or even baritone these days, so um, we're going to do the best we can. I'll shush, because it's a great song. And I just got a little riff noodle and um, I'm still learning it so I've got the music there which isn't going to help because it's buried behind my iPad but anyway it'll be fine I think I do know it but anyway we do enjoy these challenges thank you for giving them to us not sure where the time comes from to learn these new things but anyway there we go okay. yeah <laughs> Lord. 
my song to rise to you. When temptation comes my way, when I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. Jesus, you're my I don't think we knew how much we needed that song. So thank you, Dave, and thank you, Andy, for recommending that we learn it. And it dovetailed so beautifully with what we spoke about last week. And I'm getting loads of lovelies and loads of love hearts and things like that. Oh, thank you. I hope you were all trying it that higher octave, really, um, because the super growl is, is hard for everyone. Um, but it just meant I couldn't go up the octave otherwise. And I don't think you always have to, so you just do what you can. Lovely words and tune. It's great. It's by a chap called Matt Mayer, Natalie. So look it up. Check it out. Now I'm going to need my hands free for this here little talk that we're going to do. Because I've got handy things to show you. Ah. So we're talking about letting go and letting God. Now this has become a favourite little saying, hasn't it? My mum absolutely adores saying it. <laughs> and um, But it's not from the Bible. It's just a little saying that somebody's made. It's a bit like you don't know your own strength until... Oh, yeah, you're like a tea bag. You don't know your own strength until you're put in hot water. So there are these little sayings. Oh, yes. Did you know that one? No, no. You've never heard Good that man. one. So anyway, that's got nothing to do with it. Um, people are saying they loved it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you, people. Um, so, as always, such phrases need to be unpicked a little bit, just to make sure you're not saying something you don't mean or understand. Do you know what I mean? Um, oh. I used to understand, well, no, no, I'm not even going to go there. The, the words have had their meanings changed, haven't they? So you and I might come out with something, and now it's considered totally inappropriate. So it's not our fault, all right? The language is being robbed and changed and taken to a place where wicked doesn't mean bad and strange things. You know what I'm going to say. So we've all experienced God rescuing us. We sing rescuer, and we know what it's like to be plucked out of a situation and set free and, and really looked after by God. And it's many, many times. And maybe even recently you can say you've got testimonies of, of how that is, your stories of what's happened to you recently um, because it's been so difficult. And um, so what does let go and let God really look like? It's quite important to think how it could be practically applied to our lives. And this is why this is gonna go on for a few weeks, I'm so sorry. Um, this week, we're going to talk about just a couple of things, which are the first part. So if you think about let go, that's my job. So we're going to talk about what some of what my job is. So there's actually more of what my job is coming next week. There's two things here that we can talk about. So if we talk about our own control and strength, the control and strength that we think we have to make decisions and the situation that we have all been through together, that collective experience that we've had has helped us understand just what it's like to really just hold on and it's almost by your fingernails. The storm has literally been raging around us hasn't it and it was beyond any of our abilities to stop it. There was just nothing we could do. We were told stay home, self-isolate, stay safe, all the things and that's what we tried to do. So I had no power over the epidemic and neither did you. But God is always in control of all situations, even the painful and the scary ones. 
He says, rest in my strength. In Ephesians 6 verse 10, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. And they do say, in our weakness, he is strong. So um, there is a perfect in his weakness. I should have looked up that scripture as well. So that's one of the things, letting go of our perceived control and strength. And literally, I think the pandemic is the most perfect example of washing anything that you thought was a good idea away because everything has had to change. So let's talk about entitlement. And it's very interesting because recently uh, wills have been a thing in my world. Uh, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. The things that people think and assume they're going to be entitled to. So I'm an only child, if you didn't know, and I'm very, very used to getting my own way. I'm really quite unpleasant when I don't get my own way. And poor Nigel, if you've ever got any spare <laughs> prayers, please pray for him because I can be so moody, so sulky, and I literally stamp my feet if I don't get my own way. You know, so if you can't identify with that, then brilliant. But if you can, just jump on that bandwagon and think about how we could let that go. I still forget people don't act like I think they should. And I am still surprised when life doesn't go to my plans. So, but I can expect God to do what I expect he will do. Um, but Sorry, that's in a muddle. I still expect God to do what I think he will do. But very often he will surprise me with very different and much better ways. And I'm sure you can all tell stories about that. We've got a fence out there and there's a whole story around that I could tell you. Um, and God did something totally from left field to make that situation a happy one when it was a very, very difficult one. And, uh, you know, the testimony of that. But why do I think I can control God? What is that? And what I need to let that go. Um, I want him to do this very special and amazing things he can do. In 1 John, John chapter 1 verse 9 it says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So that means I won't be moody, I won't be sulky, I won't stamp my feet but there's an if there. I have to confess my sins because he is a faithful God, he is a just God and he will forgive it's, it's a given that's what he will do that's who he is and like we sang in good good father it's his um it's in his dna to do that god has chosen to give us forgiveness and a promised inheritance in heaven despite knowing what i'm like he just did that and he didn't he didn't care what i'm like i said sorry to him and he forgave me amazing my friend Jill Fowler, Fowler, she had a picture once while she was praying. So sometimes when people pray, it's words and sometimes people pray and they see pictures and images. And, you know, it kind of depends on who you are and whether you're a visual learner or whether you are an intellectual learner. Um, and God just reaches you right where you are. So the picture that she had was of hands holding on tight. I'm going that way, that's right, it's always slightly backwards. So if you want to hold on your hands tight with me, that would be great. Do you want to do that, Nigel? So most of us are holding on tight to stuff. And uh, here you are tonight, and you've got things that are on your mind and on your shopping list and in your heart. And those are important things, some of them. But we hold on tight to them. And then if God says, can you let go, please? Some of us will we'll, we'll mostly, will say, yeah, God, I can let go of one hand and I'm just gonna keep hanging on to as much as I can fit in with that other hand. You all right there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, what were you gonna say? No, I'm holding on. Oh, you're holding on, you are holding on, mate. <laughs> yeah, but God wants us to totally let go. Totally let go. This is talking about letting go, yeah? Letting go and letting God. How can we receive from him if our hands are full already yeah she says going down to the book and turning over so you can rest now this week I want to tell you about something which is exactly that that's happened in our lives so a few years ago when it really wasn't a needed or a thought about thing uh, Nigel and I said yes to becoming someone's power of attorney now if you've had that experience you'll understand what it involves but sadly, at 85 now, this dear friend needs us very much. And we have this huge 
but incredible responsibility uh, to look after him and to work out what his needs are. With the lockdown, the church services have been on Zoom and the Pold and Praise music group, the lovely music group that we've worked with for 11 years, has had a lovely rest from their very busy schedule. These are not the people that I've got power of attorney over. I'll come back to that. As things are starting to open up again for churches, we have prayed long and hard and it just didn't feel right to go back into the planning, preparation, rehearsing and doing the services. That amount of time and effort, uh, which we've done, as I say, for 11 years. So although this means a massive change for the group and for the churches, it's an opportunity for all of us to do things differently. And we totally pray God's blessing on all the music ministries. So the one here in the church with Pold and Praise and the one here in the church with Nigel and I and where we're going to end up ministering. Um, so when we resolved that situation with Pold and Praise just this week, the peace that came over us, we, we were given words, we, we were able to craft an email, which we were both so happy with. It was so positive and so loving. And um, literally, as we released that situation, we were given this other situation where our dear friend's condition is in decline. He needs to move to a new home. We've got all his accounts and forms to fill in. And now we have time to do that. And we can give it its full priority with lovely help from people like Louise Savage, who have walked that same path and are still walking that same path. So we we'll never ever disregard wonderful friends. They are so wonderful. And that's the same for all of Pold and Praise, for all the memories, for all the fun, for all the things that we've shared together. That's all still there. The friendship is still there. The people are still there. So we're going to think more about letting go this week. Uh, but there's no doubt in my mind that God wants to bless us in all that we do for him. Amen. Amen. I'm looking forward to hearing your letting go and letting God experiences this week. And I'll tell you some more about it all next week. So what have we got? Fred, this is your choice, my darling, Fred Prime. And uh, it is our privilege to bring this one for you. So this is As the Deer. And basically, it's from the wonderful scripture which talks about being so thirsty that the only thing you want, the only thing you want, is to drink the water from uh, God's river of love. So it's absolutely wonderful. You alone are my heart's desire. When we think about all the desires we have in this world, you know, what is really important? As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You. Than any other, so much 
What a wonderful choice of song, Fred. It mm. fitted okay. perfectly. Thank you so much for choosing it, my lovely. And, uh, you know, these things, they can be just heart favourites, but actually we need to know the truth of these wonderful songs. So, Nigel, do you have a prayer for us, please? I do, yes. Wow, yes, look, he's all on it. Hang prayer. on. Woo! <laughs> Slow down. You're amazing. From um, St Augustine of Hippo. Oh, is it? It is indeed. I didn't know that. That's great. So, Lord, our God, we are in the shadow of your wings. Protect us and bear us up. You will care for us as if we were little children, even to our old age. When you are our strength, we are strong. But when we are our own strength, we are weak. We now return to you. O oh Lord, that we may never turn away again. Amen. Amen. I'm sure that's why I chose for that picture to be shown. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Andy. <laughs> Let's share the Lord's Prayer together, shall we? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Oh. Natalie says that was very thought-provoking talk. Thank you. It's just from my heart, Natalie. I, I don't know, but thank you. Um, it's just me processing stuff and, and working stuff out. But hey, thank you for listening. You're amazing. And Karen said that was beautiful as the deer. It is beautiful. So, Sean, driving up to Gloucester, you chose this next hymn for us, my lovely, and what a hymn of promise, a modern hymn of promise. It's called There Is a Hope. Have you got the link? I have, hopefully. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. That's so nice. Oh. Yeah, so we're going to do that there. Yes, yes. as it's marked. So, three, four. <laughs>
test of time that lifts my eyes beyond the beckoning grave to see the matchless beauty of a day divine when I behold his face when suffering ceases and so Wow, that was a bit good, Mr. Steady. Thank you. Beautifully played. Absolutely beautiful. Sean, what a great, great choice. Thank you so much for choosing it. Again, yet another one of our favourites. Oh, and somebody else says it's their favourite hymn as well. Oh, it is Sean's favourite hymn. Thank you, she says, and that was beautifully done. Well, yeah. it's that lift. Uh, uh, it's so much lower than normal people would do it, but that's where my voice uh, is sweet. So you don't want to hear me sound <laughs> raspy and strainy. Nigel, are you going to bless us, please? Yes. This apart from your playing. Well, apart from playing. <laughs> this is a blessing from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Oh, yeah. Those who hope in the Lord <clears throat> will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. eagles. They will run and, and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Mm. Amen. Amen. And I pray that that is your testament this week, people. And... Um, we're going to send you out on one of the most popular hymns ever, really, Amazing Grace. Because if it wasn't for God's grace, none of us would be here. And uh, this it just unpacks who we are, and uh, let's just enjoy it. It's absolutely marvellous. I love this hymn. My mum would be singing this at the top of her voice <laughs> she if she was here. <laughs> Now, 
praise to finish on amazing i can't believe that we've finished number 57 honestly wow. it, it just the whole weekend is based around <laughs> doing this uh, we have these little layers of things that we love to do for you guys we send you all a little invite and um we take pictures when we're on our walks and we think oh should we use that and it's usually got dogs in it but I think you had a break this time. That was either oh, Lord of Sea and Sky, that yes. was. That was Barrow Beach on a lovely walk on Thursday that I did with another friend. And um, so, and then we think about the songs and we pull out all of the things you've suggested to us, if we can possibly manage them. Um, you know, and sometimes it takes a little while and sometimes we know we just can't, but you know, we pray about those. And then, um, will we turn them into something that we can do on the iPads. So there's a bit of, work for Nigel to do there. He gets on and does all of that. And then uh, we start to practice the songs and learn the new ones and all those kind of things. So yeah, there's many layers and many strands and each and every moment is a joy. Oh, and then I sort of plan a talk and things like that and stuff, yeah. it just happens really. It's just lovely. So let's thank God together this week and um, really wait to see what happens when we let go uh, yes. because we won't fall. Um, because there's that lovely scripture as well to him who is able to keep you from falling and uh, his hand is there ready to catch us do you remember Betty and she yeah. used to say underneath you are the everlasting arms so um, yeah let's try some letting go some more letting go it's hard change is difficult but God is with you every step of the way so darling people good night and God bless you Jan thank you Jill Jill Palmer and uh, Kevin Plunkett that's very lovely. Fred, Aunt Bray, another heartfelt songs of praise. It's all we've got, really. Mm. We just give you who we are and what we do. God bless you all. Yes. Take care. We'll see you again next week. Wow. Send yes. in your song choices. Yes, Woo. <laughs> bye bye, darlings. Bye. bye.